Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for freedomoutpost.com. And I am making this specific video to address the ladies out there. You know, we have a lot of mass unrest in the United States of America today, whether it be in Ferguson, Missouri, over alleged racism, which is really truly not the case. The issue is really the police state or whether it be the criminal immigration or a criminal invasion that President Obama is trying to pass through illegal executive order. I'm calling to talk to all ladies in the United States of America, whether you are single, whether you have children, grandchildren, or whatever the case may be. The Second Amendment is not just for men, and the Second Amendment is definitely the only thing that can stop us from this tyranny. It can stop this country from being destroyed. It can save lives, cut crime, and stop the police state at the same time. Let me explain to you what I mean. In Ferguson, as an example, When you have armed citizens, the rioters don't tend to riot or burn down those buildings where the citizens are armed. Therefore, there is no need for the extra police or DHS or FBI, which implements the police state. So, how do we solve these issues? There's a lot of moral issues. There's a lot of brainwashing via education, and there's a lot of race baiters. But let me ask you a question. If us ladies would take it upon ourselves, just us ladies, forget the men at this point. I'm talking to the ladies. If the ladies would arm themselves and take the responsibility of protecting their self and their children upon themselves instead of depending on a complete stranger, which is who you're calling when you dial 911. You are calling 911 and you are entrusting a complete stranger with the sa your safety and the safety of your children or your grandchildren or your neighbors. Why would you do that? Why would you place your safety in the hands of somebody who doesn't know you, who doesn't love you, and who doesn't take care of you or your children? It makes no sense. The Supreme Court ruled that it is not a police officer's obligation in order to protect you. It is your responsibility to protect your own self, your family, your children, your friends, your neighbors, if they are in your realm. So what would happen if just the ladies of the United States of America would stand up, get training, get armed, and carry everywhere they go? I'll tell you what would happen. Crime would drop. Children would be safer. The neighborhoods your children would actually be able to play in again. Instead of keeping the children inside because of gunfire from thugs. Why? Thugs don't like armed citizens. Any criminal or thug it's going to go after the path of least resistance. Being a thug is a mentality. It's not by birth. There are many people who were born into a system that was created to destroy them and to 
brainwash them into thinking they can be nothing better. Well, when you have ladies who are armed, walking around, shopping, whatever the case may be, then not only are your children safer, your community is safer, crime goes down. So what happens? Crime goes down, you have a more peaceful neighborhood, you have a more peaceful county, then it goes to more peaceful state, and ultimately it will be a more peaceful nation. If every woman, every law-abiding woman would take it upon herself to be armed, know how to use her weapon, use it safely, we would have no need to hire more police officers. We would have no need for DHS. We would have no need for all these cute little HSEEP programs for terrorists. Why? Because once it starts, the neighborhood is safe, it expands. The communities are safer. The cities are safer. And the criminal element, either A, straightens up and starts flying right, or B, they are met with opposition and end up in prison, or C, worst case scenario, they're shot because of trying to attack somebody who refused to be defenseless and wait on a 911 call that possibly could take 20 minutes to get there. I know a lot of really great police officers and yes, you have some very corrupt ones as well. But I'm talking and referring to the great police officers right now. That's who I'm referring to. No matter how good they are, 98% of the time, they're not on site when a crime happens. They're not magic. Police officers investigate crime. They don't stop it. So what stopped the looters and the people who were going to burn down the tattoo shop in Ferguson? Anywhere from six to eight armed men standing in front. And the rioters knew that they meant business. What stopped some of the other buildings from being burned down? Would it be the Oath Keepers that were standing on the roofs of those buildings that the police chief just so readily really didn't want over there for some reason, didn't want those buildings protected? Whatever the case may be, if just the ladies would arm themselves and take it upon themselves to protect their own children instead of relying on strangers, the whole United States of America would turn around. That's a fact. It would turn around, you would have liberty, you would have freedom, you would have less police officers, which makes it a less of a police state. Because when there is no crime or there is low crime, you don't have the need for all of the police. You don't have the need for all of the military equipment. Yet the people in Ferguson are falling for the race baiters and they're going along with this agenda in order to push martial law because December the 24th, allegedly the UN ATT SATT goes into effect. Well, I have news for the UN. They don't dictate to me or American citizens their rights. 
I was born with the right to self-defense. And I don't need the UN's permission, nor do I need Obama or Kerry's. The only one who signed that paperwork was President Obama and John Kerry. By all means, they can be held to that contract. There's no signature of mine on there and nor will there be. So ladies, many people are also under a false sense of illusion that the ladies who carry weapons look a certain way. They look like rednecks. They always have blue jeans on. They, you can't dress up and be armed at the same time. Well, that's simply not true. On top of that, I do want to say, if you choose and decide to get a weapon, the most important thing is if you have children, the first, very first thing you teach them is, is gun safety. Why? Because you need to make sure that they realize it is not a toy. Now, for example, my personal weapon of choice for carrying is my 45 caliber Taurus PT-145 Millennium Pro. The reason that I like this weapon is I'm not only a mother, I'm a grandmother. And it has a double safety. This right here is one of them. Right there. On this other side. So you can see right here. When this is locked, the slide cannot be pulled back. There is no way that this can be chambered. You need to make sure you know how to use your weapon. This is the size of the bullets. I don't know if you can see that. And it's very important that you never stick your finger on the trigger unless you intend to use it. So, how do we stop the police today? How do we stop this insanity that's going on in America? And how do we stop the illusion that gun-free zones are good or more gun policies? Is very well known criminals will not abide by the law. They get their guns illegally. One way or another, they're going to get their guns even if they order them from the ATF. It's that simple. The ATF was behind the Fast and Furious, which caused over 200 deaths in Mexico. We know that it killed Officer Brian Terry, which was uh, part of that gun running scheme as well. And I'm sure there's many more that haven't even been reported that were tied to Fast and Furious, Operation Gunrunner. So be under no illusion, your government is not trying to protect you. They're simply trying to make it where you cannot protect yourself. And the more arms that the ladies have to protect their own children, the less vulnerable you will be, the less vulnerable your children will be, the less vulnerable our nation will be. So if you want to tout women's rights and you really mean it, not this fake sense of women's rights, make sure you're armed because your second amendment right protects every other right you have, including the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I don't know how many of you know this. Out of all the mass shootings that have happened in the United States of America since 1951, with the exception of one, 
has been in gun-free zones. That one was Gabby Giffords. Look it up. So if you really truly want less crime, if you truly want to feel safe again, instead of watching over your back, stop helping the criminals be armed and arm yourselves. Stop with helping the criminals have a free reign on who they rob, who they kill, who they rape, who they kidnap. Let's work together as ladies. Let's arm our communities. Let's arm our ladies. Let's get training. And you'll see a much more peaceful, happy place with no police state. Police officers who are good police officers have no problem with this. Police officers who are corrupt, yeah, they don't like you walking around <laughs> being able to protect yourself. Why is that? Because they know you're not their victim. And I'm sorry, but it's our duty as ladies, as protectors, as mothers, God made mothers to be protectors of our children. It is our responsibility. When we refuse to take up that responsibility and give it to someone else, we cannot cry and whine and complain when they don't do their job. It is my duty as a mother to protect my children. It is my duty as a grandmother to protect my grandchildren. And ultimately, when I do that, I also protect my neighborhood and my city. So what would happen if you ladies actually thought about this? And you truly wanted to protect your children instead of call somebody whom you've never met who doesn't care about your life or the life of your family now i'm not saying that the duty-bound officers don't care about your life but what i'm saying is they don't care about your life near as much as your family does they don't love They don't love your children. They don't love me. I, how can I expect them to? They don't know me. They have no ties to me other than a paycheck. So if you really truly want to get rid of the rioters, you truly want to make your neighborhood safer, and you truly want to stop this police state quit calling for the government and the un to come in and step in because oh my god things are so horrendous and arm yourselves watch how fast it dissipates and no it won't be like john wayne in the streets kennesaw georgia is a perfect example 25 years not one murder violent crime rate is almost at zero since they passed an ordinance that all everybody in Kennesaw except felons if it's against your religious beliefs or you have a deeply held belief not to have a gun other than that you are to have a gun you are to have ammunition you are to have it loaded in your home the crime rate has been virtually zero the violent crime rate's been virtually zero for 25 years. Now, either you want to live in peace 
and you want to have liberty and you want to quit having people do everything for you, or you want to be a victim of the police state, but you certainly can't blame those who are behind it when you are sitting there going right along with problem, reaction, solution. The problem is the rioting, the reaction, the people call for the government to step in. All sounds familiar? More police, more Army National Guard, DHS, FBI. Oh, let's go to the UN. The UN is not our government. The UN has nothing to do with us. The UN is a criminal organization that the United States of America should never be in in the first place. They support eugenics, population control, and their population control is not what you may think. They want to eradicate sprawl. And in case you don't know what sprawl is, sprawl is you and I, anyone who is not the elites. So do you really care about your children instead of whining on TV? Do you really want to stop the police state? Well, arm yourselves, ladies. Because the ultimate women's right is to protect her young and to protect herself. Even a dog will protect their young. Think about that. So if we have the armed ladies across the United States of America in every community, in every house, that also solves the homeland security problem. Because realize it or not, the Department of Homeland Security targets American citizens, while the real Homeland Security, which is you and I, sit back and let them steal our rights and attack our people. And I say enough is enough. I would not, uh, on a personal note, I would not suggest any ladies who are inexperienced in using a weapon, getting a 45 caliber for their first gun. It has a very strong kick. You need to have firm wrists or strong wrists. And you need to know what you're doing when you're using that weapon. As with any weapon, it can be extremely dangerous. So the main point is to make sure you know how to use it properly. And then don't be afraid to use it in self-defense. When you're willing to use it in self-defense, criminals know. You'd be surprised how many people will start going straight. I hope I've provoked a little bit of thought. God bless you. And until next time, good night. Exercise your Second Amendment right to be protected instead of being a victim. If you don't have a gun and you're not quite sure if you can handle one, then by all means, Go to a target range. Find someone who owns a gun and see about target practice. You'll be surprised. And stop buying into this assault weapon. Assault is an action. Weapon is a tool. It is not an assault weapon unless it is used offensively to attack somebody. So it is a myth. It is not an assault weapon.
these guns that they are trying to regulate and ban through the UN are semi-automatics. They are not automatics. It is extremely hard for anyone in the United States of America, unless you get a bunch of permits going through the ATF, which is kind of ironic since the ATF is the one gun running to criminals. They gun run semi-automatics and, and uh, grenade pieces to the Sonola Drug Cartel, which is not only known for drugs, but known for murder. And we're supposed to abide by their rules. Why would I want to do business with a criminal organization? And it is obvious the ATF is one of them. In a semi-automatic weapon, you pull the trigger once, one bullet comes out. You cannot pull the trigger and bullets continue to fly. That is a lie of the mainstream media. So, you can fire as many bullets as fast as your finger can move. And as many bullets that are in your magazine. Why do you think they want to limit magazines? It is not for your protection. It is for protection. The tyrants are trying to protect themselves against the people that they are trying to rob, to kill, and to trample on their rights that were given to them by God. And that's okay if you don't believe in God. Because you still have those rights that were given to you by God anyway. And whether you believe in God or not, he believes in you. God bless you. Hopefully I will hear of some more ladies getting armed, trained, and make sure you get plenty of ammunition. Because it's time we make sure our neighborhoods, our children, and our grandchildren are safe. And it is not the responsibility of a police officer with a $60 badge to come to my aid. Supreme Court established that one. So rest assure you, when it hits the fan, just like it did in Ferguson and in different places across this country, there's not enough police officers to go around. You're on your own. And I'm sorry, but if you don't have a means or a way to protect yourself, you can blame nobody but yourself if you become a victim. If your children or your grandchildren become a victim because you refused to take responsibility for your own safety, for their safety, that's nobody's fault but your own. It's time to stop blaming everybody else and start putting the responsibility where the responsibility is due. The responsibility is on our shoulders. It's about time that we took that responsibility up and quit allowing bureaucrats to tell us what our responsibility is. Thank you, God bless you, and good night.